Hello and welcome to another C Sharp coding homework exercise. And in this exercise, we will create a class called month, and it will only have one single data member called month number. We are to include a member method that returns the name of the month and another method that returns the number of days in that month. The toString method should return the name and number of days. So you write a second class to test uh, your month class. The second class should allow the user to input a month number and display the name of the month associated with the number entered and the number of days in that month. So for example, if user enters 12, the output will be December and then 31 days because December has 31 days. And for this exercise, we will use 28 uh, days for February. If the user inputs an invalid entry, display an appropriate message. Okay, so let's create a, a class. I'm going to create a class called month. And in it, I'm going to make it public first. And in this class, let's create a constructor first. And in the constructor, we will uh, pass the month number to it from the user. User enters the number, we will pass it to the constructor and uh, then we will, based on the number, we will uh, find out what uh, the name of the month is and how many days it has. Now they want, is, want us to have one data member uh, for, the, for the number, so I'm going to create a public integer month number property get and set and this property will hold basically the input from the user whatever the user enters we will assign it to our property month number so again if user enters 12 our month number property will equal 12. so let's create our method that this uh, finds out what name of the month is i'll just call it get month name no arguments are needed and in it uh, we will create a variable called month name because this will be returned from the function remember it returns a string of the month name based on the number that the user enters and we can use a switch statement switch and based on the month number property that the user entered so again if the user entered 12 this will this method will return december the word december so case one in our case is the month name uh, that is going to be returned is january because january is the first month our case two so if user enters number two, we will return the month name February. And of course, if the uh, if the case is free, then oh, this is a bad syntax. If case is free, we will return the month name March. And you don't have to watch me type it. I'm going to pause it. And when I return, I will have all the months typed. Okay, magic. I have all the months. Again, 1 through 12. If the user enters 12, it's December. If 1, it's January. And by default, if the user enters default, then our month name is non-existent. So we will simply call it invalid input and return that string from our function or from our method so um, after our switch statement oops we will make our return statement called we will return the month name that we just got from the number that the user entered and again if it's uh, like let's say 13 then it will return the string invalid input all right, so that's uh, getting the month name. 
now let's do the public integer get month days this will return how many days each month has and i found out that the january march may july august october and december have 35 april june september november have 30 and for our case february has uh, 28 so get month days and i'm going to do a simple if statement if our month number property if it equals one which is the january then we will return 31 days however another 31 days is if the month number equals three or if the month number equals five for may and so forth so let me just pause it and type the rest so if it's one three five seven eight uh, 10 or 12 these months have uh, 31 days so we will return return 31 because they have like i said 31 days else if and there's four months they have 30 days so i'm just gonna copy four except uh, it's the numbers are going to be four for april six for june uh, what was the next one it was september and november all these have 30 days so we will return 30 else if the month number equals 2 if it's february we will return 28 and if it's something else uh, we, need, we will return like else statement i guess we will return zero that is not that's uh, if a wrong month was entered if like the get month na uh, month number is let's say 13 then there's no 13 months so it doesn't have any days obviously so let's create our uh, string method so our public override uh, to string and we are going to return formatted string so string dot format and uh, we are going to return something like a uh, month of and it will say like december so that's a pl placeholder has and our second placeholder will return the number of days so month of december has 31 days so days so again our placeholders are the methods uh, themselves because they have a return value that we are looking for so our first is the month of december for example so it's gonna be the get month name method that we'll call and it will return the month name and uh, the get month days will return the number of days for that particular month and that's our to string method so we can go to our program uh, i'm gonna rename that uh to like a test month and yes i want to change that instead of program itself so that's our second class that they want us to do and we'll ask the user console that uh right line please enter the month number oops it's supposed to be like that and the user enters the number and i'm gonna store it in the integer month number and since it's an integer i have to convert it to an integer because the input is obviously a, a string so convert that to integer 32 and we will read whatever the user enters so console dot read line so again user enter we ask the user to enter a number the user enters the number but it's in a string format as any input so we convert that into an integer and assign it to our month number so now we can set that month number to our constructor in the month class so let's create our month object 
I call it month equals new month and we will pass the see it's expecting an integer we will supply the month number that the user entered to it and then we will simply do console dot right line and we'll pass the object which will basically output the to string method of our month class when you pass the object itself into a uh, right line statement like this so if i run it it's asking me please enter month number so let's say one that's january so it's january has 31 days that is correct okay let's run it again a few more test cases that's two, which is February, and it says February has 28 days. And let's do, I don't know, nine, that, that's September, that has 30 days, and it does. And let's do, uh, I don't know, 12 for the December, and December has 31 days. Now let's do one that is invalid input, 13 months of invalid input has zero days, because obviously it's an invalid input. So yep this is the exercise but don't go anywhere yet because uh, this exercise was supposed to be you know about if statement and switch but when it comes to dates c sharp has uh, many built-in functionality that uh, works with dates very well so let me show you what we can do here let me comment this whole block of code including the return statement and instead Let's do a so create a class or object of date time format info. Now this one it's telling me a hey, I don't have the library, so it's the globalization library. So I'm gonna the, enter it into our using statements using system dot globalization now and with this uh, library in this uh, date time format info i'm gonna create a current info that's the name of the uh, object i'm creating that's a, that's arbitrary obviously this is the object and this is the name of it so basically it's the name of the variable so we are creating the oops we are creating the new date time format info and now when we have the object we can uh, return the current info object dot get month name it's right there and it says return the culture specific full name of the specified month based on the culture associated with the current date time format info so basically it will return the month name and we will supply it's asking for the month number so we will simply supply our month number property that holds the number the month number that the user entered and similarly we can come over here i'm gonna uh, i'm just gonna comment all this out and over here we can do a very simple return statement return date time dot and there's the function days in month and it will return the number of days for the specific month instead of writing all these if statements we can do it like this and it's asking for a year it's asking for the year for which we are want, for which we want to do this so let's do 2016 i mean it's 2017 now but 2016 had uh, february 29 days so like this exercise only uh, wanted it for 28 days uh, for every February with this you would actually get whatever the days for each month including February were for a particular year that you enter so let's do 2006 and again it's asking for the month number so our property month number holds that and we still call the same methods I mean we, we just uh, using one line here instead of all this code and two lines here instead of all these long switch statement so when I run it now it's asking me for the month number i'm gonna do one and it's the same output month of january has 31 days if i do three 
it's a March, 31 days. If I do 9, which is sep September, that has uh, 30 days. So it's there. Now let's do February you know, for 2016, remember? So February is number 2 and had 29 days in uh, 2016. So you can see that uh, C sharp is quite rich when it comes to, uh, you know, making your life easier. So you don't have to use all this complicated, well, it's not so complicated, but so long and uh, really not very well organized because again, February does not always have 28 days. It sometimes has 29. And you can return that with, uh, you can get that with one line of code and the same with the name of the month, two lines of code and you're done. Okay, so uh, I hope all this was helpful. And uh, if it was, please leave a comment, leave a like, share with your friends, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.